Everybody, once again, it's Brain Man Sean, and it's back with another link up. I got your boy Ashamad. He's an artist, and this guy, he has an interesting experience with TikTok. We we've been talking a lot about TikTok lately, but I love the fact that he has a perspective that he's going to be coming from that offers a lot of value. So it's yet another story, but all of these stories have their own unique um value points that i think artists should be able to take or influencers should be able to take to figure out how they want to develop and leverage it for their career so first and foremost i should my appreciate you hopping on bro i'm well, excited definitely. to talk to you i know you super excited because things have been going crazy <laughs> for you in a short period of time um to put that into context man like give get let's start here Give everybody an idea of when you going from zero to your current number on TikTok and how fast it happened for you. Okay. So I feel like with me, a lot of people, you hear the TikTok stories and it's almost was eating me up inside. You hear the people like, oh, I got a hundred can a week. If you search how to go viral on TikTok, on YouTube, you'll hear the story. I got a hundred can a week. So I'm like, all right, you know, I'm gonna hop on here, post some videos. I feel like the biggest thing for me was I, I'm real strategic with what I do. So when I hopped on, I didn't just hop on and start posting videos because I know they were originally musically. So I'm like, okay, that's lip. I'm not thinking music. I think of lip singing little kids, which no offense to their, them and their brand, but that's just what comes to mind. So mm -hmm. I kind of, the first thing I did, like the, I want to say for like a week, bro, I was on it. I made my account just to reserve my username. So I didn't have to worry about somebody taking it. And I'm just watching videos. I'm watching, studying, studying, trying to figure out how it works. And then from there, I might have posted, before my first video popped, I posted 70 videos. 70 videos. I had one video pop. My fifth video got 150, uh, 140K views, I think is what, it at, is what it's at right now. It was an Uber video. I'll never forget that feeling. It was crazy blowing up. That was my fifth video. And I went five videos before I got another one to pop. So once I got that one, it was dope, but it was like, it's like an itch that you want to scratch. And like, this is pre me even introducing my music whatsoever. Yeah. So like, I feel like it was like a long time coming, but when I got my next one to pop, I went from three, I had 3K followers. I want to say when I started on TikTok, my first video did okay, I got 11K views. It was a video I actually was at ComplexCon, I met DJ Academics. And uh, you know, I was just kind of flexed up. Like, you know, follow me, not X Ashima, blah, 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 on the socials. Threw that up, probably got some love off of just DJ Academics name and, and hit 11K, but I'm like, okay, that's cool. I maybe got like 200 followers off that, maybe in like a matter of three days, just letting that go. Uh, but then I start catching on, like TikTok is real. For one, it's trends. Like I feel like the, what I learned early on is it's like, me, I always wanted to do like original content, like skits and stuff. But I noticed that if you do trends first and kind of build yourself a platform, if, cause the big thing is sounds like, so if I were to screen record, I'm, and I'm sure you know better than anybody or as much as anybody, if we, if we screen recorded this, this conversation right now and threw it on TikTok as a, as a 30 second video, somebody could pull that exact audio of what we're saying within the, the margin of that 30 seconds and they could lip sync it back. Mm -hmm. So, you know, and, and the sounds kind of, they trend and they have their own type of charting, whether it be a song or just like audio from a video, um, stuff like that. So I kind of noticed that and the hashtags is another big one. Hashtag was a big one real early on. It's dead now. A lot of like OG TikTokers know. And like I said, it's crazy for me because because I feel like I was around all the TikTok and I was so knowing of everything, but I just couldn't get it to pop for me for whatever reason. So another big thing was like share other cancel was like was real big. So you hit right, like the big. three dots other cancel and it was like a cheat code almost, which is crazy. But it's like TikTok is so new. There's almost no rules like everything it's kind of being written right now. So it's like whatever we as a community make it, like right now it's an ongoing joke is like old TikTok. You know, like old TikTok is like the joke, like we miss old TikTok because now it's mainstream and it's, you know, it's watered down or whatever, which is still a dope place to be. But, but yeah, not to get too off track. Like I said, it was my 70th video. It was, a, I went to Dollar Tree and bought a rubber snake. And I noticed, what I noticed was I seen a lot of people, it's a dude named Dakota, Dakota Olave. And Candy Ken, they're real big on um on TikTok. Blue they did guy, like and the guy with blue the unicorn hair, little thing. Yeah, the yeah. Guy yeah. with the unicorn, bro. Like they are uh -huh. they're geniuses, bro. Like they're I actually met him. I went to a TikTok 
event with my friend because he's pretty big on the platform. So he, I kind of tagged, was his plus one to a Halloween event for TikTok. And I met him, bro. And he kind of, I ran into him. I didn't even know who he was until after the fact. Um, but, you know, I think he was waiting in line for the bathroom. And he's like, um, he's like, so what kind of content do you make? And that's the thing with the TikTok community, bro, is they're so like open and welcoming. Like they're, they're regular people with like these huge platforms that, they don't even, I feel like they don't even know like how much it's worth, bro. Like it's over and I, I see you a lot of them on game. What is it, the Rizzo or Rinzo or uh, whatever their streaming platform, I forget the name of it. What is it, the, the streaming oh, yeah. platform they're coming out with? Not to get too uh -huh. off topic, but but TikTok is such an open place and there's so much room for growth and monetization. So it's just crazy, but it's, I'm long story short, I'm talking to him outside the bathroom. He's like, so what kind of content do you make? And everybody, bro, I'm bumping into, Summer Ray was there, bro. Like, all, and me, like, I'm feeling like an outsider because I'm the only dude. I had a TikTok at this point, but I might have had like 2,000 followers. Everybody here, 500K. What's your TikTok, bro? I'm like, I don't even want to tell nobody my TikTok. I'm like, bro, like, I'm just the plus one right now, bro. But like, I'm going to see you at the top. Um, So, whatever, like I said, bumped, in, bumped into bro Dakota Olave. Shout out to him. He's fire, bro. Fire content. He's a genius, bro. And, he, and I don't even think he fully knows it. Um, bumping to him, he's like, yeah, man. He's like, this TikTok stuff is crazy. I'm like, yeah. He's like, let me show you my, bro. He busted out the analytics on me. Talking about some, bro, this video is 10 seconds, but the watch time is 25. I'm like, yo, he's like, you know how the For You page works, right? And I'm like, bro, I don't even know too much. I don't even, I know what the For You page is, but I'm not even understanding like the, the real benefit of like you maximizing how many For You pages you're on. He's like, yeah, bro, the longer your watch time is, uh, the, the, the more the algorithm boosts you up. That's the main thing you want it. Bro, he breaking it down like this. Like, he teaching me how to play Uno or something, bro. Like, just really yeah. giving me the... So, bro, like, ever since that day, like, subliminally, I think he might have even been, like, some fuel to my fire on that TikTok. So, I'm like, bro, dang, I'm looking around, bro. It's Halloween. I'm like, all these people here, everybody, everybody wants, what kind of content you make? What kind of content you make? I'm like, bro, I don't even know. Because I'm at this point, I have, like, 2K followers. I'm doing real random stuff, bro. Just hopping on trends, real random stuff. Just trying to get my feet wet some type of way. And so, I, I go home with that, you know? Go home with that, sleep on it. I'm like, bro, I gotta, I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I gotta do it. So I try to do like, you know, I try to do the regular, like I'm a rapper thing. I'm gonna preview some music, some snippets. Like this, my stuff is fire, you know, I'm gonna play some fire. Bro, no views. So I'm like, bro, like how do I capture these people's attention? And a real big thing for me that I recently got over and I feel like this is like what led to my, to like my last video that blew up like not even three days ago that has propelled me to this platform that I now I'm starting to grow and have is you just really got to step outside your comfort zone on TikTok. And like the thing that I love about TikTok, yeah. it's like an escape. Cause I was always scared, bro. I don't want to go out like a clown. Like at the end of the day, I'm real serious about my music. I'm passionate about my music, but yeah. it's like, if I'm on TikTok doing whatever, and say I get it, say I get one, say I drop one and it blow, they're gonna be like, bro, this the same clown from, but it's like, bro, it's not that deep. I look at like Guap Dad, not to not to compare him to a clown, but I look at like Guap Dad 4000. Bro, I seen the video of him. He, he's like, bro, Guap Dad 4000 is one of the funniest artists out. I don't know how familiar you are with him, bro, but he's just yeah, like, literally, bro, like he is comedy, bro. The first video I ever seen went viral. He had Henny, it was his birthday. He was like, I don't even remember too much what he said. He throwing money in there being stupid, bro. That video went viral. And then next thing you know, he on a Dreamville album shortly after. Obviously he put in work and he's a great artist and a musician, so that fed the, into that. But it's like, bro, I, I start piecing even a 6 9 bro. You can say what you want about 6 9 I personally think, you know, snitching, I, I ain't with that, me personally. But at the same time, when 6 9 get out, if he get out, which I think he will get out, he breaking every streaming record. It don't, I don't care how many people he snitched on, bro. They was doing the live tweets of everything he was saying and every, he was talking about some trippy red who did not know. Bro, he gonna be the biggest artist. So like me in my mind, I'm like, all right, bet. I don't want to go out like six nine because I'm not doing that much. But what is my limit? So like, what can I do? I might have to step out my comfort zone and maybe do something kind of cringy. That's another real like TikTok. Yeah, uh, cringe. TikTok cringe. lingo. I know. TikTok lingo is the cringe stuff. I'm like, all right, I, I can I can sleep at night knowing I might post a cringe video, but I ain't going in Walmart and acting a fool. And then, you know what I'm saying? And then moving around how I'm moving around, like that's not how I'm gonna go out. So it, I feel like you gotta find that medium, but at the same time, the biggest thing is stepping out of your comfort zone and then it's the trends. So I was All trying right, to do so, the trends. So right there, go, yeah, man, like you talked about something that, that's serious for a lot of people. A lot of people can't get over their own social insecurities. They'll, they'll, you, 
they'll start to talk down on TikTok or what other people are doing, but a lot of it right. is just them being in their comfort zone. So they get one. So they leave. get one though. Yeah, then get you catch one, one you... and now yeah. Yeah, it's a little different. And now you're like, oh, okay, right. you see what that does. And you don't necessarily, right. like TikTok isn't about that. It's not that serious. I like that you said that because I always tell people, brand, uh, Instagram has become so brand specific it becomes so tight. Like people don't even want to post anything. They were so worried about what it does. It takes all the air out of the room, it takes all the fun about it because people take it so seriously. And exactly. something had to come along to, to break that wave because all these things start off as fun at first, but now this became, right. Instagram mature, it became uptight. TikTok has become that fun little brother that was like, look, bro, right. what are we doing? We just trying to have some fun. We not trying to, that's what people are doing over there. Right, and the thing with TikTok was me, it was like, so I do music, I'm serious about my music. I know people on Instagram know I do music. On TikTok, I purposely did not follow anybody that I followed. I don't, fo I follow maybe three people I know in real life on TikTok. So that was like my escape. That was like on Instagram, you know, I gotta be Ashima the rapper, Ashima the model, the fashion enthusiast, Ashima the cool dude, right? You know what I'm saying? But on TikTok, I'm, I'm dang near acting a fool, you know, to a certain extent. Like I said, I have my morals yeah. that I, that I told myself, like, how how far am I willing to go for this? How far am I willing to take it? This is where I draw the line. This I is, think everybody this is should do that. Line. That's an artist going into music in general, you know, because of some of the things that could happen within the industry. But I'm glad you did that for TikTok and specifically. I think everybody can take take that same thought process. Right, yeah, because it, it's, it, it's extends to everything, you know? Like, it's, it's, that, it's some things you don't want to be viral for, you know? You might not want to be viral for... A, B, and C, but I might be okay with being viral for the dude that 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 went to Dollar Tree and bought a lizard and put it in water and, and did a meal in a day, you know? Like, it's only yeah, good yeah. fun. It's nothing, talk, it's nothing that more, I can't... Talk more about right. that video. So, so like I said, uh, I was on TikTok. I had went... But prior to this video, I had been to the TikTok corporate office. I had asked all the questions you could possibly ask. Me being me, I'm in the building, you know, supporting my homie. As soon as his little... As soon as whatever he was there for finished, you know, everybody just kind of, you know, eating donuts, eating. I'm like, okay, for sure. What's going on, Brahma? Nice to meet you. How you doing? That's just me. Like, I'm executing every moment, like, you know what I'm saying, to the max. I'm like, what's going on, man? How you doing? He's like, what you do, bro? You just look like you do something. Like, I know you here with, like I said, my friend's name is Ben. Sneaker Mechanic is his, is his socials. He's like, I know you're here with him, but like, what do you do, bro? You look like you do something. I mean, I do music, you know, but I'm not really here for me. I'm not trying to say too much. You know, I'm dropping no links or nothing. I do music. He's like, oh, for real? He's like, uh, you you know TikTok is like huge for music, right? He's like, have you ever thought about putting your music on a platform? And like, I want to say a week before this, I had got the email from Distro Kid actually. So, uh, sh shout out to Distro Kid, like Distro Kid. If you're not on Distro Kid, I would recommend that over everything, just because of the the ties they have with TikTok. Um, you can you can submit it, but this was like, I got the emails from Philip Kapl Kaplan, who owns Distro Kid. He emailed me, and was like, oh. Um, we are now uh, in, in talks with TikTok. You can get your music on the platform. I'm like, okay, cool. I did it here, heard nothing. Tried to email him back, got the automatic message. I'm like, bro, I'm trying to get on this. I don't know. I don't even know what type of videos I'm going to make. Like I said, at this point, I just have my username secured. No videos. Plus, I'm just trying to get my music. And I'm thinking to myself, once I get the music, I'll try to make videos. So fast forward, I'm in the office. He's like, yeah, have you ever think about getting your music? I was like, yeah. He's like, what's, he's like, what's your information, man? Let me get your information. So we, we exchange information social media and, uh, and phone number. Uh, I hop on a call with him a couple of days later, emailed him some snippets of like whatever tracks I wanted on there. Some pretty like recent stuff, maybe like five songs that I wanted on TikTok. They was up in maybe 48 hours or so. And from there, uh, we hopped on a call and like a big thing on a call, I asked him, I was like, so do you think it's better for me? Cause in my mind, like I said, I, I, I think real strategic. So I'm like, should I, should I take out X amount of money, try to get as many, um, as, mi as many people that are already have platforms on TikTok to post my song the first day? Or how should I go about this? And he was cool. He's like, you know what? TikTok, a lot of songs that blow up are older. He's like, and although it is good to have multiple people using your sounds, of course, because that's what makes it viral. He was like, most of the songs that go viral on our platform, the the person, if they don't, if they're not already big, a lot of times the person who posts whose song it is normally has at least a pretty decent video to the song. So he's like, although it is good for you to reach out to other people, don't sleep on yourself as an asset. He's like, there's no reason with the amount of growth there is on TikTok for you to not start it. And then maybe try to, you know what I'm saying? Throw some gas on the fire and then reach out. So he says that, I'm like, okay. 
So, you know, he and he he working, he and he at the headquarters. So I'm like, bro, your your word is law. So I go home, sleep on it. I did a couple skit videos. Did a, like I said, the first one that got over 100k from me was my fifth one was the Uber one. Fast forward, long story short, I'm trying stuff, trying stuff. 5k here, 3k here, being like a highlight for me. 600 to like 800 range being like pretty average for me and up get up to 3k. Like I said, as a Sunday, days ago I had 3k followers so I'm actually I'm like you know everybody 2020 new year new me all that I told myself I wasn't gonna put that on social media but my mentality was bro I got a foot on the gas I've been to the headquarters I've seen what it could do I've seen my friends thinker mechanic go from he are he was on a good path he had maybe 10k on Instagram last year bro his growth has been crazy which is in a shoe lane which isn't isn't the same as mine but at the same time why not if if there's not a niche niche for shoes i'm like there's a niche for me somewhere somehow um and that's yeah. another big thing is finding your niche is like which i'm still trying to find like i hit i mean i get too off topic i'll put it like this so 2020 i get off work right i'm driving home because like i said i'm an independent artist i'm still working trying to figure everything out right now i'm investing all my own money on my own everything i'm driving home i'm like i gotta get groceries so i'm like i'm gonna go grocery shopping right quick I'm like, bro, I told myself, it's, it's January 3rd, the third day of 2020. I told myself, 2020, my goal is I want to be more consistent with my content on TikTok because I know the power and I know what it's going to turn into later this year, especially with that stream platform rolling out. I tell myself, by the time I get back from the grocery store, I don't know what I'm going to do, but I'm going to make three videos. I'm going to make three videos. If I don't have no idea, I guess I'm going to turn the camera on and, and just off the dome. If I can freestyle or rap, I can freestyle a video. Why not? I got the personality, I got the looks, I got the, I just need the platform in the, in the ears and the eyes. So I'm like, whatever I go, on my way back, um, I drive past Dollar Tree. In my head, I'm like, you know what? I don't have no ideas. I'm like three minutes from the crib. I'm gonna go to Dollar Tree. I don't know what I'm gonna find, but I'm gonna find something video worthy. Whether it's, initially I'm thinking like silly string. Don't even know what I'm gonna do with it, but just something like, something I could use to give me some, to hopefully spark idea I go in there. I see that got like a snake. It said, put it in water, grow 600 times bigger. A big trend right now is the whole, you post a video and it's a two part series or a multiple part series, come back in 24 hours. So I'm like, okay, what if I put it in the water? I seen somebody do something similar and this is the biggest thing with the trends. And I feel like it's the biggest misconception because this was what, what I was stuck on is I would see the trends and I would copy it, but I would copy it identical. And that's where you go wrong because somebody with a larger platform or, or an established platform Say they see something and they copy somebody else's idea, which on TikTok, the great thing about TikTok is copying isn't really looked down upon. It's, it's almost the norm. It's for you. You're supposed to, to copy or to, to recreate. But the biggest thing is putting your own sauce on it. So I've seen somebody do it. They had a small one, though. They had a small thing that you put in the water, it grows. If you've ever been a kid, which all of a sudden, you know what I'm talking about, you put in water, it grows. So I found the snake. I was like, dang, the snake is already big, though. I was like, it's going to grow bigger than that. So I'm like, that kind of sparked my interest. So I grabbed that. I grabbed that, a magnifying glass, water balloons, and some rocks that was supposed to turn to crystals. They didn't know which one I was going to use. I'm like, it's the dollar store. I'm going to spend a 10 piece, come home with 10 possible ideas, and drop them 10 days in a row and just see what pops, if anything pops, but it's better than me not posting. So I go home, get back to the house, set my stuff down, you know, unbox, start unboxing stuff. I'm like, all right, whatever, I'm going to do the snake because it kind of sparked my interest because I'm like, dang, it's big. It said it's supposed to get 600% bigger. No meter a lot smaller when they're supposed to grow, whatever. So, you know, get my little setup ready, get the phone out. And the thing with TikTok too is it's, you can go viral on it. I got a million views, million views on an iPhone X Max, not even the 11. Like, your video quality don't even have this. I've seen people with chat, with Android quality, no offense to anybody with an Android, with, you know what I'm saying, millions of views. So it's like, you don't have to have any crazy setup you don't have to have. If you go to my TikTok, most of my videos are in my room. Like I don't even really leave the house. I come home, I do music and I and I post videos all in my room. Like my livelihood is in my room as of right now. So, you know, spark the camera up. And, in, and one big thing when I talked to going back to, like I said, Dakota Alave, I'll never forget that conversation I had with him outside of the bathroom at that TikTok Halloween party. He said the biggest thing on TikTok, once you get the platform, is you need to make sure that your 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 fans or your viewers or whatever your followers whatever you want to call them feel included in something so like one thing one thing that i kept in mind is like okay we i, I need to i need to find a way to keep people's engagement because i don't want a viral video to go viral and then that be the end of me 
you know, you this is something I got to keep going because my point, I don't want to just get viral and be known as like, oh, he's a funny guy on TikTok. Like, bro, at the end of the day, like, I need y'all to listen to this music. Like, I'm being slick about it. I'm not throwing it in your face at first because don't nobody want to be handed a CD. You know what I'm saying? How many times have you turned down a CD at the gas station? Like, bro, you're not worried about that. So whatever, like I said, spark up the camera. I said, uh, so I think I said, show the package, you know, this this says that it's supposed to grow 600, 600% times the size, let's test it. Um, the water was kind of funny with it. And uh, I named it. I think that was what the biggest thing was. I think besides saying come back in 24 hours, for whatever reason, just me being me, just trying to throw some sauce on, I said, the, and we're going to name him Snickers because he looked like a Snickers. That's what I had said. And I throw him in the water, and I say, come back in 24 hours. So I posted this video, though. But mind you, I told you I went, when I went to Dollar Tree, I got like 10 items or so. And it was just like, I'm going to just post a bunch of videos until one pops. So as soon as I post this, don't even think nothing. Throw it up there. I had another video. And he's in my bathtub, by the way. At this time, I did it in my bathtub. So they had these magic towels at the Dollar Tree store as well. Same concept. It's like a little ball. You put it in water, and it, and it turns into a towel. I thought I had never heard of it, so I was like, it sounds cool. It's a dollar. Why not? I don't have no you better heard of those, ideas. Man? Now, that's what everybody was telling me, though. I had never <laughs> heard of them. Everybody playing me like a fool. But I'm like, you know, crazy to me, because I'm like, bro, I'm not wiping that on my body. I'll do it for the video. But if any of y'all have ever wiped it on your body, it's got to be some chemicals or something. But... <laughs> yeah, I had never heard of it. So I feel like a little kid. I'm in Dollar Tree, you know what I'm saying? Cheesing, like, bro, I'm going to make some content. I don't know what. But, like, bro, when I walked in there, I was like, bro, this is a genius idea because, for one, it's cheap. For two, it's all type of crazy stuff. Like, all this growing stuff, that's TikTok stuff. It's just, mm -hmm. like, weird stuff. Like, bro, one, too off topic with it. We'll get to it eventually, I'm sure. So whatever, throwing on what got the towel thing. So the snake video is up. I don't even check the views. I post it and I'm telling myself, I'm 2020, I'm gonna be consistent with this TikTok content. So throw it up, don't even look at it. Cause that's another thing too, is don't watch your views. Gary V is the GOAT for that. You gotta post like nobody's watching because when you start, nobody's watching. But when one takes off, it's gonna be no, nobody's gonna think about them videos with five, 10 views once you crack your first mill or whatever your, whatever your pinnacle is. So I kept telling myself, bro, don't check the views, don't check the views, even though it's hard. Throw the towel in the water, and the, the towel had to go in water too. So the snake's in my tub. I'm like, I got a tub full of water. I'm gonna throw the towel in there too. The towel needs water. Throw it in there. It's a little magic ball, turns into a towel. And I was like, oh, and don't, and and thank God I had named this snake for whatever reason, just on the fly. I named it Snickers just to try to give it some type of storyline. I was, I threw the towel, I was like, oh, so this same concept. This towel is supposed to go in water. So we're gonna throw it in the water and see what happens. Throw it in the water, and the snake was in the video, like in the corner. I was like, oh. And if you watched my last video, you already know what's up with Snickers the Snake. That's the homie. This is going to be his blanket. Uh, make sure you check that video out if you didn't already. So I kind of, it was like a, it was almost like a series on accident. So I purposely knew they was going to come back to that video in 24 hours, not knowing how many people, but whoever saw it, I would hope at least one or two people would come back. But then the towel kind of accidentally did that, and I post that. I, I post that one with the towel. All I did was let it sit. I poked at it, and it turned into a, I was like, oh, look, it's a rag. And I think I accidentally called it a towel. So they was getting me in the comments about that. They were like, oh, it's not a towel, it's a rag. So almost that fueled the fire, I think, too. It was just like the perfect, ac it was the perfect, like, accidental, like, series of events, I guess. So I go back to check the other video after I post this one. Video at, like, 5K. I'm like, oh, dang, okay. Mind you, at this time, I only have 3,000 followers. I don't have no business with 5,000 views. But that's, like, the beautiful thing about TikTok. Is it's not Instagram. It's not Snapchat. It's not nothing. It's, it's TikTok. So you could have 100. I don't see people with 100 followers with videos with some 100,000 or whatever the case is. Long story short, I see 5K. I'm like, okay. Like I said, at this point, my, my highest viewed video was 100K. And that was 65 videos prior to this one. Yeah. And I'm at 3K so followers. Next? So I... So, you know, like I said, it's hard not to watch the numbers. I start, it's at 5K. I refresh, 6K. I'm like, a, a thousand like that? I'm like, bro, 6K videos, and I'm cheesing the past, like, three. I've probably been on TikTok maybe four months. The past three, four months, I'm cheesing through 6K, and I just got to, I'm like, bro, did I just refresh a thousand? Refresh. Uh, and then this is when it started going crazy. So, I, I to this, this has only happened to me once with the Uber video, but never for this amount of time. So, similar to Instagram, you know, once you hit 99 on the notification, it maxes out. So it said plus 99. I'm like, okay, plus 99, that's cool. Refresh it. The video go from like 5K to like 7K. I'm like, whoa. 
start re just every time I refresh, it's going up. Then I start getting the followers in, and I was like, whoa, because I had on the when I posted the 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 Uber video, and I think it's crazy. It's like the follower retention to the viewer, to the to the amount of views is like real skewed. Because I've seen a lot of people where they have only one video on their account, the video will have like three million views, but they only have like three thousand followers. So my followers start going up, fifty followers, ten followers, twenty followers. I, I think I turned off my phone and hopped in the shower. I'm feeling good. I'm like, man, this is crazy. I don't want to stare at it too long. Turn off my phone, hop in the shower, get out the shower. The video is at like 10K views. I might have been in the shower for like 10 minutes. I'm like, bro, okay. But I've been here before. So in my head, I'm like, okay, the, the highest viewed video I've had to this date, which was three days ago on Sunday, is 140,000 views. So I'm like, if I can hit 150,000 views, that's all I'm looking for. And then I'm going to move on to the next thing. You by the know. time I get out the by the time I get out the shower, man, it's at like 20k. And the other one went on for about three, four days. And that's the thing with TikTok too, is the life of your post is a lot different from Instagram. Me personally, I can't speak for anybody else. When I post something on Instagram, I might have two, three days max, or if even three days. Really, I'll say two days. 99% in the first day, however many likes I get is the majority of my likes. And I might get another 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, whatever you know the number is the next day but on tiktok the longevity of your post is really is really crazy and and another thing is the yeah, chain reaction so what i on, 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 on tiktok like easy and the they have a system where your stuff could be dead but like months later they'll refresh it and put it back right. into the bucket and they'll start back and, over and, again and that's what i noticed because what irritated me prior to this video and and what like was real crazy to me and like right now as as like as passionate as I was about TikTok, just because of what I knew it was capable of, as passionate I was prior to getting any type of like hit, I'm like times 10 now, because I was putting out videos. I'm like, bro, I know my videos are funny. Like, don't get me wrong, 50%, like I said, this was my 70th, 70th video. 69 videos that I had prior, half of them were trash. I ain't gonna cap with you. Half of them were trash, but the other half of my buddies like, bro, these are solid videos. Like, these are good <laughs> videos, but nobody's seen yeah. them. But that's the thing. When this one started picking up, I want to say once this got to like 30, 40K, I started noticing my other videos start going up crazy, comments. And so it's like a chain reaction. And I think that's the thing, because that what tripped me out is I would always see people with like 3 million views, and that's their only video, and they only have 3,000 followers. And I think that's almost like worse. Like, I'm, honestly, I didn't think this before, but I'm almost happy that, I didn't get one to really go viral, like a million plus viral until I had already had 69 videos because a lot of people go viral. The first thing they do is go to your page and they want to, you know what I'm saying? TikTok, YouTube, all this is entertainment. They want to be entertained. They go to your video, your profile. You got one video. They don't need to follow you. They just seen everything you were on that one video. What they, need, they might like it and go on about their business. I had 69 yeah. videos. So I started getting trickle down effect on all my old videos. I got people commenting in. So I'm like, bet. And one of the biggest things that I think blew me up that a lot of people sleep on, man, is that live, bro. If you have a thousand plus followers on TikTok, go live, bro. So the way it works is on your For You page, right? When you scroll through the For You, obviously it has a video, likes, comments, blah, blah, blah. But it shows your profile picture. If you're currently on live while somebody is, while you're on somebody's For You page, if they tap your Abby, which it has the circle around it to let you know, you instantly follow them, you instantly follow them, and you go into their lives. So I'm looking at my video, it start going 60, 70, 100K. This is in like a matter of hours. I'm not He's 100K. saying being somebody tapping into your live automatically makes TikTok, TikTok will automatically make them follow so, you? So if you go to my profile, so when somebody's on live, their Abby gets like a red ring. Don't quote me on the color, but they get, I want to say it's red. It's like a red ring around it. And it'll say like live. They'll have a, a thin strip of a banner across their Abby says live. If you go to my profile while I'm on live and click the live, you just go to my live. However, if I'm on your For You page and you click my Abby, follow me and you go to my live. For whatever reason, that's just how it's set up. So I'm okay. thinking, I'm, I, and, like, heard that and like I said, okay. Like I said, I have a little bit more insight. I want to say, I want to say, I'm, I'm like 99% sure. I, if it's not like that now, I don't know, but I'm 99% sure. But this is my thought process. With that being said, like I said, I've been to the headquarters. I've asked the questions about the algorithm is, and all this because I'm used to trying to market my own music. So I'm like, I'm, I've asked the questions. So I'm like, okay, I finally got one. I've been doing, re I'm on YouTube. I'm watching you and Corey. I'm watching uh, Gary V. I'm doing all the research, just haven't been able to get the opportunity, but I got all the dang knowledge. So I finally go, I'm like, bro, how do I maximize this? Because the thing with stuff that goes viral is it could be viral today and dead in a week. 
So I'm like, mm -hmm. I need to maximize this moment. So knowing that the for you page, I'm, I'm seeing my views go up. So I'm, I'm probably on a lot of people's for you page. Also check your analytics, which is really important. You can see the percentage of, it'll tell you like, oh, you're, this video with a million views, I want to say, on my analytics, it was like 94% of my views came from the For You page. So I'm looking at the analytics like, okay, I'm popping up on people's For You. If I go live, my Avi is gonna be highlighted and if they click it off the For You, which I'm on a lot of people's For Yous right now, which I know because of the analytics, they'll instantly follow me. And then I pretty much get a second chance. Because if you saw my video, if you don't mean nothing, if they don't follow you, like and stick around. So I'm like, if they saw my video and were kind of interested, but probably would have left, if I'm on live, I get a second chance to earn a follower, earn a like, or earn a likeness, or whatever the case is. So I'm on live. I'm just, you, I'm just being me, you know. I feel like I got a pretty strong personality. I'm like, what's going on, man? And I want to say real quick, I was like, hopped on live, didn't know what to expect. I have tried live three times. Like I said, prior prior to this, I'm going to have 3K followers. You need 1,000 followers to live stream. I had tested it because I know you can get paid through donations and whatnot and gifts on a live. I tried it, got nobody in my live with 3K followers. Couldn't get a single person. But I'm on everybody's for you page. Like I said, if you go on live, it shows it. So I go on live. I got like 50 people off the back. I'm like, okay, I got an audience. I know what time. I'm an artist, you know? So like, I know how to act in front of a crowd. I'm putting on a show. Uh, and a big thing too is like, I'm telling you, and when you go on a live, people can share your live. So say you get 50 people in your live. I'm telling everybody what's going on, man. I appreciate y'all. Y'all check out the video. If y'all didn't check out the video, Please, because uh, I know they followed me if they found me on the For You page so they can easily navigate back to my page. Please go check out my video, come back in the live, and if you tell me done, I'll shout you out on the live. Because the big thing with TikTok is there's this big TikTok famous. And like a lot of people that I've noticed in my live, I can't speak for everybody else's audience, but everybody that's been coming to my live is like, hey, bro, can you shout me out? Can you say my name? I do YouTube. I do. They want to be, you know what I'm saying? They, they trying to get their feet off the ground too. Um, so I kind of tapped into that, you know, finesse it or however you want to call them. Like, All right, bet. I got y'all. If you shared a lot, everybody asked me, can you shout me out? Can you shout me out? At first I was announcing everybody joining, you know, it was like 50 people kind of quick. Like I'll say within the first two minutes, I had 50 people. So I'm like, what's going on, man? Welcome in, welcome in. Calling out their names because they like that. That's what's going to make them stick around. You call out their name, you acknowledge them. You know, they talking to me, I'm talking back. Next thing I know, you know, it's like 200 people in there. I'm like, okay, like, damn, we got a crowd, man. 200 people for show. Like, I shoot I'm basically that's a performance you know at that point in front of 200 people <laughs> live so I'm yeah. like for sure man let's do it then so you know I started getting excited like I'm like okay for sure um so I'm telling them share the live and like one thing that I did real early is I told them so I, I started this thing it's called the not x mafia because I remember the back going back to Dakota Alave outside that bathroom he told me that he had like a t-shirt so when he would do lives if you donate to his live he'll write your name on the shirt Real small, and when the shirt gets filled up with names, bro, he must have had thousands of names or however many hundreds of names on there. When the shirt gets full, he he gives it to somebody. I don't, I forget how he said he chooses who he gives. We give it to him. He's like, bro, the biggest things they want to feel included. He was like, when you're able to go on live stream and get people in your live, bro, just make them feel included and, and carry that out. He's like, and bro, they'll take you wherever you want to go because he has like two million on there. So I'm like, bet, say less. Yeah, nah, so I'm keeping this in it. mind. Like I said, I kind of, I kind of. I want to say not that I had a cheat code, but I just had the knowledge, but I just couldn't get the platform. So the second I, like I said, my 70th video, man, I finally got it. I'm like, bro, I know, I know what to do with it. Like, I already know what time it is. So like I said, I'm like, hey, y'all check it out. Uh, some, I think somebody asked me my, because my, all my social media is not ex-Ashmod. And he was like, oh, because he seen my, I got a, a poster in the back from a show I did in Santa Ana. He's like, oh, you do music? I was like, yeah, bro. He's like, oh, what do I search you up as on Spotify? Is it not ex-Ashmod? I was like, nah, not X Ashmad is my social media. Ashmad, which is my government name, is how you find me on Spotify, Apple Music, et cetera. He's like, okay. Um, he's like, what is not X Ashmad? And you know, I'm just talking to him alive. By this time, it might've been 400, 500 people in my live right now, I'm going crazy. Um, I'm like, oh, uh, I, I was like, I don't really know. But like, like I said, I'm looking at the numbers, 400 people in my head. I don't know, I just thought it sounded cool. I might've had that name since like high school. I'm 22, been out of high school for some years. But I'm like, I gotta get these people a show. So I'm like, not X Ashamad is it's it's a family, man. What you talking about? I'm like, we the not X Mafia. I was like, bro, y'all should change your name. I got 500 people in here. Y'all should change your name to not X. What I was like, I forget his name. Whatever his name, I'm like, bro, you should change your name to not X, blah, 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 whatever his name was. And then everybody started like, oh, what? What everybody started going crazy in the car. Not X Mafia. Hashtag not X Mafia. Because that a lot of them are young. 
and and they just they so supportive it's crazy bro like it's it's yeah. 500 people on my live bro and they just love they, they all they know me from is a is a snake from dollar tree video bro but i feel like the man you can tell me nothing bro and within that life i was on live for, for 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 five hours the first time i ever went on live live or first time i ever had views in my for five, I was on hours. For five five hours bro had 79k had 79k viewers the whole time because I, I went on live in the middle of my video going viral. The biggest piece of advice I can give you is if you hit on one, bro, go on live in the middle of the valerity. And I just learned oh, yeah. that word. I don't even I'll know if I pronounced it right. In the middle of the virality. valerity. I see my virality. Virality. I've got me looking ignorant. Uh, <laughs> I appreciate you. Nah. Hey, I'm man. Right. People make up words all the time, bro. On that shit. It is what it is. <laughs> right. Right. But like I said, I'm like, bro, this thing going crazy. I'm getting all these views to my account. I'm going live, man. Just in case y'all didn't like the video, like, give me a second chance. So then, like I said, we get up to 1K viewers. First time on live. Or I've been on live before, but didn't get no viewers. Went on live for like two minutes, ended it. Didn't have nobody. I'm putting on a show. Like I said, not X Mafia. I start banging it, man. Like, it's the set. I'm like, not X Mafia. Change your name. Next thing I know, first dude changes his name, comes back in the live. I want to say her name was Olivia. I'll probably never forget her name as long as I die, because this is like engraved in my brain like these last three days have been a dream and i'm not even nowhere near where i need to be and it's just crazy but anyways um not ex olivia was the first one she had a longer name but it was not ex olivia some some so i start gasping like yo shout out not ex olivia everybody i got like a thousand people in my life everybody dropped not ex olivia in the chat start going crazy might have been 30 40 people not ex olivia not ex olivia and then everybody else starts seeing that they start feeling left out so this is where shout out dakota Olave again it's that entitlement, man, that's gonna pull them in and keep them. Cause it's one thing to have a viral video. It's another thing to stick them around. Like, and I feel like that not X Mafia is, I'm only three days in. I'm still trying to figure out how to how to run with this this storyline or this this family, this grouping, whatever you call it. Almost like my own beehive, you know? Obviously on a waste, minuscule level, but that's the goal. They start feeling cool. So next thing I know, people leaving and join back in. Not X blah, 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 join the chat. Not X so-and-so join the chat. So, bro, I bust out the whiteboard. I got a screenshot. I, I, I got a screenshot. I bust out the whiteboard. I'm like, hey. Where's the whiteboard? What? It's in your room? I don't, I don't know what I got on there right now, but this is, oh, yeah, look, this is my, not, this is my, this is my, my live stream whiteboard. So, not X Mafia, and then this is some, this is a whole different system I had started. So, when they donate, if you, if you donate a gift to my live, I'll write your name on the board. Because, once again, they just feel everybody in the live, if I got, I got 500 people on my live. They feel special. They name on the board. All you got to do is donate name on the board. You donate multiple times. I put a star. We play games. That's a big live. There's like a live stream culture on TikTok almost. It's like yeah. the emoji game. I'll say an emoji. And they put me on game because they probably go into their favorite TikTok. They put me on game. Like, hey, let's play the emoji game. I'm like, bro, what's the emoji game? Say an emoji. The first person to, to comment whatever emoji you say wins. So I'm like, okay. Upside down smiley face. Dirty upside down smiley face. First person, shout them out. That, you know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. So that live stream is so powerful. I feel like it's so underutilized. But going back to what I was saying, so this was something I did last night. I've been trying to live stream every day. Today, I think it's the first day I've missed since my video popped four days ago. So I had a four-day run. Um, got tied up with some stuff today. Uh, was cooking up earlier, but never mind that. Like I said, the first time I ever did it, I was like, not X Ashima, we're going to lay down some ground rules. Mind you, at this point, I went from 1K to 2K, 2.2K viewers on my live stream, which is crazy. I don't join live streams of friends that I know that have 300K on TikTok and they ain't hit 2K. But like I said, I did it in the middle of my video going viral, which is so important. Um, 2.2 viewers and I screenshotted it. Like I'll probably never delete that. Every iPhone I ever get, I'll probably transfer that picture over till I die. Um, <laughs> But yeah, so not X Mafia, and I said, you know what? We're gonna set some ground rules. I was like, cause y'all changing your name to not X, blah, 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 isn't enough. I was like, let me tell y'all what this include if you change your name. So I wrote it on the board. I put not X Ashman in big letters. I said, step one, how to join the, the not X Mafia. Step one, change your name to not X, and I put in parentheses, insert name here. So the not X shows that you're included in the movement. The second half is up to you because I want y'all to be creative too. I let them know. I said, I know a lot of y'all do YouTube. A lot of y'all do music. We can all talk about this right now though. Let me give y'all the ground rules. Y'all help me blow up and I'm going to remember y'all. I'm telling people, I'm telling people I might do a live today. I'll jump on live tomorrow. If I see, like I said, not ex Olivia is 
engraved in my brain. Every time she joined my live, she get mad love because she was the first person to change her name and I'll never forget that. And I know she probably feel crazy and I'm not even nobody yet. I'm nobody that I want to be yet. I'm still working to where I need to be. So it's like I said, that, in, in, that inclusiveness. So I put the first step, change your name to not X. Second half of the name is up to you. Step two, I said in all caps, you must be early and must be early, meaning, and I broke down every step, meaning when I post something, I need y'all to comment on it. I need y'all to like it and I need y'all to share it because the way the TikTok algorithm is set up is almost like a point system. Shares carry a certain amount of weight, which will which will put you to more for you pages or so I'm told, I'm not, there's no, there's no 100% on this, but to my understanding, the amount, every time somebody shares a video, you get X amount of points. I'm not sure if that's the right word. And, and mm -hmm. that can launch you, that can launch you onto maybe X amount of more for you pages. And depending how you perform on the, on the amount of for you pages that you have now been given again, can either push you down or push you up. So it's like a, it's like a trickle down effect. Um, and I, I want to say, they say share, or from what I, from what I've heard, shares, wait, Comments are second and likes at the bottom, which obviously all of them, it's, it's, the, it's the, the mix of all of them that will boost you. But to, like I said, to my understanding, that's what it is. So I'm telling them, er, you got to be early. Rule number two of the Not X Mafia, you have to be early. You have to comment on every post. You have to like I said, do not just change your name. I need you to support me so I can support you. And that was the biggest thing is I let, I, I feel like, I said, you support me, I'll support you. I said, go change your name right now. Come back in, y'all getting shout outs. So it, like I said, it's 2,000 people on the live. So it might've been like 30, 40 people instantly like change the name. Shout out to, shout out to, shout out to, shout out to. Everybody wants a shout out, they doing it. And and from there, I think the third step was, um, what was the third step? I want to say the third step was, I don't even remember what the third step was. I'm not going to lie to you. But anyways, I had set the rules. So I made it more serious than it really was. Put like a story behind it, the whole Not X Mafia. And the, mm -hmm. and the thing now, fast forward into now, like I said, I get off the live. I didn't even know how many viewers I had. I was on there for five hours. When I got off the live, I was dead tired. I had been on there for five hours. I still had 2,000 viewers when I got off. And in my head, I'm thinking like, dang, bro, if I end this live, I might never get this many people watching me <laughs> at one time live again. But I'm like, bro, I'm dead tired. I'm putting, like, bro, I'm putting on, I done, I done performed in, in a 45 minute set and not been this tired. I'm like, bro, why am I this tired right now? But I was like, whatever, I'm gonna get off, you know, whatever. I'm tired, get off, go to sleep. Or not even go to sleep. Let me sit down. Get off the live. When you end the live, it tells you how many viewers you gained during your live. And it tells you how many viewers you had. I had 79,000 total viewers during that live. And I had gained 2.2 thousand followers. And in my mind, last time I checked, I had like maybe 4,000 followers. I had went from 3,000 to 4,000 by the time I hopped on live. Bro, I get off the live, I'm at 15K. Like, I almost, I was ready to scream. Like, I'm like, bro, what? 15K? I was on live for five hours. So you figure, I probably dropped the video maybe like an hour or so before. So my video had been anywhere from like four to six hours, don't quote me, out. And I'm at 15K followers from 3,000. I don't even remember how many views the video was at. It might have been like, when I went to sleep, the video might have been at like 120K. Because I remember creeping up on, like I said, the biggest video I had before this was my fifth video, which I did 140K, a Uber, a Uber skit. So I'm like, all right, bet if I wake up and I'm past 140K, that's all I need. Bro, I go to sleep, wake up, I'm at like three, 400K. I was like, bro, what is going on? Wake up, my followers is at like 30K. I was like, bro, this is crazy. I said, I got to come back with something. Like, because that was another thing. When I got that Uber video, I almost feel like I fumbled the bag on that one. And this is why I almost say I'm more happy that my viral video, or viral, I don't even know what's viral. All these days, a million, five millions. My yeah, I know, right? It, it's just regular language now. My first video for a million views came seven. Ain't no telling now, dude's doing a million. But I mean, my, I had a million collectively. I don't even, I can't name one thing I had a million of before. Um, So, like I said, uh, wake up, it's not like maybe three, four hundred K. I'm like, bro, we got to keep this thing rolling because with that first video, the first Uber video that I had that popped up, it got 240K. I, I remember calling up my homie, the, the sneaker mechanic, like I said, that, that kind of was putting me on game with it. I'm like, bro, so when you get a video to pop off, because he has multi multiple videos in the millions. I'm like, so when you get a video to pop off, do you normally let it ride out or, or, or do you want to follow it up quick? And he was like, bro, TikTok kind of tricky, bro. He's like, but I feel like every video has its own life. He's like, I'm gonna give it to you like that, in my opinion. 
and, and it does, bro. It really does because I follow. It's that it's that trickle down effect. It's almost better to spam videos. Every video I watch, following up to me, blow. I used to go on YouTube for hours, man, and just watch watch these kids out here, man. You know, they blow up on TikTok and they take it straight to YouTube because they smart. You got to spread it to all platforms. They'll take it straight to YouTube. To, to we're gonna give you a crash course how to blow up on TikTok, and they'll tell you a lot of people like a big thing I saw. It didn't work for me. I heard a lot of people did six videos a day four to six videos, you hear Gary V say it, and, and you almost spam it in, in hopes of one of them taking off. And like I said, that, that trickle down effect. With me, that didn't work. Um, but but every video for sure, as I've learned or in my experience, has a life of its own because when my one popped, they all popped after. So it's good to have a lot of videos because like I said, I had 70 videos out. So when you found me off of my, my dollar, dollar Tree Rubber Snake, you had 70 videos to go watch. And like I said, I'm not going to lie, about half of them was trash, but it was a cool another 50% for y'all to go and enjoy. Um, and that's been that. I'm at like 51.8K right now, last time I checked. Um, and I'm, I'm just but, looking for so the I next mean, that's day. in the last, what, four days, basically. You went from yeah. you know, 40 something K. That's, so the big right. thing about that snake was the fact that it really didn't get big at all, right? It really didn't get big and, oh, I almost see it's such a long story, but I be losing track. Like it's it's crazy. Like these, like I said, these three days have been like so long to me. So like I said, it didn't grow. So like I said, a big thing was me. I'm like, how do I follow this up? So I'm like, okay, I need something. I don't know. I, and the whole thing was come back in 24 hours, but the snake didn't grow. It's a Dollar Tree snake. So I'm like, bro, what do I do? So I called a homie. He's an actor. I'm like, bro. So my video going crazy on TikTok. He's like, bro, I see you on there. Blah blah blah. I'm like, I don't know how to follow it up. Do I wait? Do I do I? I know I need to come back, but I'm like, bro, what do I come back with? I was like, the snake's not bigger. Everybody want to see the snake. I was like, if I show the snake and it looked the same, they're, gonna, they're not going to hear that. He's like, bro, like, I mean, he's like, I see your follow. You got 50K, bro. He's like, you could dang near do anything. They're going to watch it regardless. So I'm like, I bet. I'm like, we're going to make a story out of this. So the next video I did, I said, uh, I, I, I kind of played it out. So I was, I started in my room. I was like, hey, uh, I was like, what else? I said, not X Mafia, stand up once again, because I had already cultivated the little following in my live. And ever since then, they commented on my old videos with the hashtag. I gave them hashtags to use. Hashtag not X Mafia, hashtag not X Ashma, which is my ad name. And I told them if you use these hashtags, comment it on my post, but also comment on your post and I'll check out your post and like your post. So if you want me to see what you're doing, that's a way to get my attention is I'll check that. I can't always check your ad, especially with the viral video because my notifications are crazy. But when I get bored, I'll just check my own hashtag and I'll go see what y'all got going. So mm -hmm. they commented on my old stuff. So I'm like, man, bro, I got this little like cultivating. I still don't even know what it is. I'm still trying to figure out how to maximize it. So I'm like, bet beginning of the, the, the next video after the, after the, um, the two ones that, that kind of went viral, I'm like, not X Mafia, stand up. This is what y'all been waiting for, right? 24 hours later, let's get it, man. Y'all ready for Snickers and Snake? Because mind you, I had names him. They going crazy in my comments. Oh, Snickers, Snickers, oh, blah, blah, blah. Like, acting like he real, bro. Like, I promise you, I yeah. think half of them really think he a real snake, bro. But I don't even know. But I guess that's the fun of TikTok. It's not too serious. So I go in the bathroom, and, and, the, and the, uh, this is where I threw the plot twist. I said, I said oh, he, he's not here. And I flipped the camera and the tug and the snake gone because he didn't grow. So I'm like, bro, I can't show them a snake that didn't grow. I was like, we're going to say he lost. We're going to make it a story. Let's run with it. I got all these viewers right now, all this attention. I'm a performer. We, we, finna, we finna put on a show. So I'm like, the snake's gone. I don't know where he went. They start going crazy. They're eating up all, oh, you know, it, it's a little everything. I got, I got some people like, oh, bro, how'd you lose them? Uh, you was in charge of a man. You had one job. Another thing on TikTok, a trend or a joke, a running joke is like, oh, you the CEO of this. So they like, oh, bro, you the CEO of Cap. You uh, you got a viral video, and now you trying to juice it, blah, 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 blah. So I got yeah, the, the yeah. dudes hating on it. I got the dudes that's like, bro, what? I got the dudes, RIP Snickers. We miss Snickers. Bring Snickers back. So that video started going kind of crazy in itself. I'm like, Pfft. last time I hopped on live while a video was doing good, we went crazy. I started off the Night X Mafia. I'm like, bro, I wonder if I start up another live where well, I got a little bit of juice. It wasn't as much juice as the first one. But I'm like, I'm still getting carry on. I'm still getting views on the last video. I want to say the video was at a million. It's at 1.3 now, 1.3 million now. So I'm like, bro, I still got some carry over this new video looking good. I mean, it, it ain't, the, 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 the blueprint ain't failed me yet. So let me just stick to what I'm doing. Hop on a live. Hop on a live. Might have had 20, 30 people within the first 10 minutes. Hashtag uh, not X Mafia. And I was like, when, because the first live I said it, some people changed their name. 
some people was like, oh, yeah, 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 rapping it. But when I hopped on that second live, man, and I didn't even mention it. They mentioned it. I was like, I might have just did the coldest thing ever on accident. I was like, it's a rap. This is what it is. And to, my, to this day, I'm still trying to, I mean, to this day, three, four days later, but I'm still trying to figure out how I'm going to turn this into something real because they they really out there banging that Not X Mafia, man. Like, it's real. We got the emoji, the little X emoji. I went and picked the emoji. It's the X emoji, the black card, and the, and the Jupiter emoji. They all use these emojis because they see me use these emojis. Anytime they comment on my post, I normally respond with the same couple emojis. Like I said, from the jump, a big thing with me was brand identity because I know I got the look. I got a weird name. My name is Ashmat. I never had to look for an artist's name. I never had to do the Lil or the blah, blah, blah. No disrespect to anybody with Lil in their name if you were an artist, you know what I'm saying? But like, I just feel like the biggest thing for me is I always had brand identity and I always knew what to do with the platform. I, I think I make good music. I, I know a lot of people, a lot of my peers, platform, I know what to do with it. So I got this small opportunity this small window and I'm just maximizing. I'm like, man, we about to really start something really inclusive. Shout out to Koto Olave again. I know that they want to feel included. They want to, they, you know what I'm saying? They want a personality. They want something deeper than the music because it's 2020, bro. You can make a banger in the basement. You know what I'm saying? You can make a banger in the sticks with a, bro, when I first started rapping, I was rapping on Apple headphones. Like it's too easy nowadays. So it's deeper yeah. than the music. Anybody can make a good song. Auto-tune, you don't even gotta be able to sing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So yeah. it's deeper than the music. So I'm just all about right now is just trying to really show these people that I just have a multiple thing. Oh, last night on live stream, we was playing Fortnite. And that's like, and just with it, right? Because like I said, all they know me right now is for the snake video. Even right now, I have 50, 51.8K followers, something like that. And they, I'm, the dude with the, I'm, the dude, I'm the dude with the, with the rubber snake. And I'm slowly introducing the music. So I start doing stuff, you know. I start telling them my name is Osma. Check me out on music. Uh, check me out on Spotify, Apple Music. Uh, anybody that shouts out any of my songs, if, if, you, if you drop my song in the comments of this live stream, I'm going to shout you out. So they doing research. I'm kicking back, waiting. Next thing you know. Fantasy. I'm like, yep, I do got a song named Fantasy. Shout out to blah, blah, blah. Uh, uh, Vendetta. I do have a song named Vendetta. Shout out to Vendetta. I'm like, all right, y'all got it. Y'all straight. Not X Mafia in here. I see y'all. Real, uh, real recognized, real blah blah blah. We a family. Bet we gonna we gonna step it up a notch. I'm gonna throw your name on this whiteboard if you can um if you can if you can drop lyrics. It's one thing to just look up the name. I'm like, but are you bumping it though? Can y'all drop lyrics? They start dropping my lyrics. But I might have been like two three minutes, just lyrics, all type of stuff. I'm like for sure going crazy. Then like even like I said, that was a couple nights ago. And then last night they're like, hey bro, we was doing a Q and A. I was like, I want y'all to get to know me because it's like I said, I want them to feel included with me. I want them to know this is deeper than music. I want them to love me as a person. I want them to love me as an artist, as a comedian. If I decide to go be a model or an actor, I, 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 and I tell them this, bro, like that's the thing is like, I have this platform, I'm finna milk it for everything I can get out of it. I'm like, bro, I don't know how long it's gonna last. I might not never get a viral video again. I think I will, um, because I think I, I, I think I kind of got it down to a science almost, and I, I don't knock on wood, but like, I just want them to feel as included as possible. And I, I feel like that's what, took my my fame and like I, I'm still yeah. in my two seconds I might be in my third second now but I'm hoping it turns to a minute or a year and, and everything uh, else so it's, I got you. I'm just trying to trying to figure out how to milk it as much as I can man and at the same time it's dope because it's genuine I got dudes in my life bro we did um we had the female advice last night they talking about hey bro you know Valentine's Day gonna come up shout out not ex Ethan if you ever see this uh, that's my dog. He be in every, he been in every live stream. I live stream every day. Like I said, I probably gonna miss today. Some stuff popped up. I was recording and some more stuff today, but I've been on live every day since that video popped. He's been in every live, bro. And, uh, he's like, Hey bro, Valentine's day is coming up. You know, I got a little shorty. Uh, what should I do, man? He's like, I want to get her some. I don't want to do too much. I don't want to do too little. And we, we didn't advice. I gave him my advice. I'm like, Hey, uh, mafia, what you, not ex mafia. What y'all think, man? They dropping gym. Like, hey, bro, you know what I'm saying? Get us some chocolates and flowers. We having, like, a, a real conversation, kicking it. And, it, like, it, it's just love. They asked me, like, like I said, we did a Q&A. They're like, how old are you? No, what's your name? I was like, my name is Ashmad. Same as my at name. Pretty similar, at least. Blah, 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 blah. Now, you play Fortnite? I'm like, bro, I ain't played in a minute. I'm like, but what? And they like, you trying to hop on Fortnite? I'm like, bro, we'll put it like this. If we can get a donation, which I said they can donate gifts, that's another thing about the live, other than, like, making them feel entitled, but you can also get paid off of it. Not to put too much emphasis on that. Do with that what you will. 
Um, they can donate gifts. So I'm like, all right, anybody donate gifts? We're going to hop on the fort with it. Mind you, I'm trying to milk this. So I put it like this. They donate. I Fortnite, a squad full of four people. So me, I got plus three. We had three dudes donate first. They added me on PlayStation. I said, you know what? We're going to switch it up a little bit. Um, so I'm going to have the TikTok live, right? But when I'm on the game, all y'all going to see is me on the game. I'm worried they're going to get bored and leave. I was like, I'm going to stream it on the YouTube too, too. So before you watch us play Fortnite, go ahead and tap in on my music video. The Oxygen music video had just dropped pretty recently. Check that out. And by the way, we're on live on YouTube. So I got them on my YouTube live, on my TikTok live. Mind you, we're playing Fortnite. I'm like, hey, if y'all in, in both lives right now, screenshot it on your phone and DM me on Instagram. Because on TikTok, when you go to your profile, there's a button you could push to take you directly to your Instagram or YouTube. Uh, my two cents, only put your Instagram or only put your YouTube to start. Because when you put one, it takes you directly to the page. When you put two, it asks you to choose. And some people are going to get the option and not going to want to choose either. I just put my Instagram right now. Um, that's just what I chose to focus on. So I'm like, as soon as you type it, you go straight to Instagram. So I go to my Instagram. I tell them, DM me to Instagram. I tell them it goes to my, um, it goes to, you know how Instagram works, I'm sure. It goes to your Instagram requested. I'm like, bruh, I will go through my requested. These last three days have been a dream. The least I could do is go through every requested. I was on my request. I might've had a hundred, a hundred plus DMs, bro. I ain't never asked any DMs in my life from screenshots to the live. And I'm saving them. Cause to me, this is the craziest time of my music career. And I ain't even fully introduced the music yet. That's the craziest part, but I'm just already knowing what this is finna transition into. So I'm, you know, they hitting me, the homie, not ex Ethan, hit me by this girl again. We touch base on that. You got screenshots. Bro, I, I had brought the dog into it. I needed some water, went downstairs. I got a Husky, her name's Mumu. So we got Snickers the Snake uh, that they steady during all my lives, still to this day, comments on the video. I'm, I'm sure as long as I'm posting, they'll probably bring up Snickers the Snake the day ones, whether it has to do with him or not. I go downstairs and get some water. Um, you know, like I said, I got viewers. I'm putting on a show. I'm a performer. I'm an artist. I'm putting on a show. Hey, y'all say what's up to Mumu, my uh, my dog Mumu the Husky. They start saying I'm, I had already touched heavy base with the mafia, probably so exaggerative or so exaggerated, I should say, to the point that I feel like it really sank because I've really busted out a whiteboard to, to say this is not Exa Mafia. This is the rules that we follow, which is all like support me. I support you. These are the, the, the stuff we stand on. And, and I go downstairs, show my dog, Mumu. Next thing you know, oh, that's not X Mumu. That's not X Mumu. I was like, bro, you know what that is? I was like, yeah, bro, that is. Oh, what? I'm, I'm glad y'all know. Yeah, that's not X Mumu. So it's just, bro, I don't even know what it's going to be three days from now, bro. It's whatever they make it. But it's just like this TikTok community is so crazy. It's like, and I had posted a tweet last night that like was so real to me. I'm laying in bed like, damn, bro. I'm 70 videos in, which sounds stupid on TikTok. Like, maybe I'm too juiced, let me know. But just the fact that I have been to the, I have been to the corporate office headquarters. I have been to the, to the Halloween party and been around everybody, TikTok community and out. Because the thing with TikTok is they're real big with pulling people in. So they got their organic, they got the musically, they got the people that blew up musically. And they're also, also, also actively uh, recruiting. They're also actively recruiting, whether it be Kevin Hart, The Rock. If you see now, that's the whole running joke is we miss old TikTok. And and one thing now that was scaring me, which is funny, I, like I said, I had been to the headquarters. I'm thinking, dang, bro, I don't know what about TikTok for longer than like the vast majority of people. I know the ends because I've been to, I've talked to the higher ups and, and, got, and got to sit down and ask all the right questions and got all the right answers, but I still ain't got one to blow my brown man at a time. I'm like, when are they going to switch up the algorithm and cut off this free organic reach? Because, you know, it's only a matter of time until monetization is monetized. Can't even say the word, but you know what I'm trying to say is going to be the it's going to be the, the number one thing. So I'm like, bro, I'm running out of time, running out of time. And just in the nick of time when I least expect it with the Dollar Tree snake, I snuck in and I'm like, bro, it's over. Y'all let me in. I'm going to kick the door down. So like I said, not going Boy, not to jinx too much, but like, bro, it's just the fact that I've been to the headquarters, bro. I bumped the right people. People that done did it before me have gave me the game and the fact that I was finally able. And that's almost the thing is like, there's no rules to TikTok. So what worked for Billy Joe Bob might not work for Sean Chris or whoever. It's like, just be genuinely you. Do not scared. To, do not be scared. If you don't want to 
if you don't, if you worried about people finding it, don't. You can change your TikTok name, every TikTok name, once, whatever. I didn't know, whatever that people yeah. won't recognize you as, and go back to it. Go back to your yeah. real name later, or however you got to get it, bro. Get these views. Lay down your morals. You know what I'm saying? Me personally, the main thing I was saying is I'm not finna act the fool in the Walmart because I might have to go to the Walmart for something. I ain't trying to get looked at crazy. I'm not going to the Walmart. I have a music career, so it's okay to be funny. It's okay to be the funny guy. You know, you got your Tyler, the creators, who 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 can be funny, like clown, not, not to call him a clown, but can clown around and then can still drop music and you still gonna put some respect on the music because at the end of the day, if the music is good, they not gonna care about how you got introduced, but for so long. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Ty, That's what Ty people get afraid of. People who who are get too wrapped up in that are people who really might doubt their music quality a lot of times. And the thing is, bro, is if you do doubt your music quality, get big on TikTok. And the music don't even gotta get good, bro. Shout out not to diss him, bro. This is my little bro. They're geniuses, bro. Bomeo and Vore. So the little homie Bomeo, he's staying like Northern California. I'm in I'm in Southern California. He found me on Instagram. He he told me he messed with my music. He was so it was the sneaker mechanic who had he had half a here he had almost like half a mil. But I've known him for years. But he was on TikTok with like half a mil. He was kind of gasping. I'm like, bro, but you. You, he, he customizes shoes. I'm like, bro, you paint these crazy shoes. Like, of course they're going to watch you. I do music. Nobody want to hear another rapper trying to make it. So I'm like, bro, yeah. I, I appreciate you, but like, do you? I'm going to figure this out on my own. You know what I'm, I'm going to stick with the brand, with the brand man, Sean Network, and t you know what I'm saying? That fit me more. Whatever else I was I was looking to for for advice. I'm like, for sure. Then I, the little homie Bomeo that hit me. He's from China, uh, which funny enough, TikTok is, is from China. No relation. Um, no relation in that, but just funny enough. Um, and he told me, he, he was on YouTube. When I met him, he had 3,000 3, subscribers on YouTube. He DM'd me, he said, bro, because I, I was doing shows and I was doing merch at this time, heavy. Um, I kind of took back from the shows, kind of took back from the merch, more so working on just growing my, my platform and, and music right now. But he hit me, he was like, bro, uh, I mess with your music. He's like, I don't even know how I found you. I somehow found myself on your page on Instagram. I think you're dope. He was like, I want a piece of merch. Um, and I'm like, for sure, bro. I, I gave him the rundown of the price. I think I was selling tees for like 25. I'm like, bad, bro, uh, cash at me, PayPal me 25. I got you, bro, send me the address. He like, bro, I'm short. I'm like, what? He's like, bro, I got like $10 right now. Give me till next week, I got you. I'm like, bro, you know what? I wasn't even doing shows or releasing merch at this time. I just had some leftover. I'm like, bro, this is sitting in my closet anyways. What size you wear, bro? He's like, um, he's like a small. I'm like, bro. I'm finna go to the post office. Give me your phone number. I'm gonna text you how much the shipping is. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just send it to you, bro. All you gotta do, I see you trying to get your little YouTube. Mind you, he didn't have the biggest platform. He had 3K subscribers, which isn't crazy. Um, but let me tell you how, I'm finna show you how being genuine can pay off and you never know with this internet thing, bro. It's crazy. So he had 3K subscribers at the time. I go to the post office, text him. Hey, bro, shipping is, might've been $5 or whatever to his house. I wanted to give him express. Tell him what the deal is. He's like, all right, cool. He cashed at me $5. The tees were supposed to go for $25, so I'm taking the L. But I'm like, bro, this is like one of the first times that I had somebody outside of my circle really come to me. And this is prior to, prior to me even being on TikTok. First time somebody outside of my circle is coming, coming to me, showing love. So I'm like, bro, I'm going to show this love back. Ship it to him. You know what I'm saying? Send him a hat, too. Send him a hat for free. Didn't even tell him. He got it, bro. He hit me, bro, this is crazy. This is crazy. And that just goes to show the not just TikTok, but it's just making people feel included in something and genuinely because you ask for so much as an artist i feel like stream my music follow me on instagram follow me on twitter retweet this come to my show buy my ticket dude it's like bro what are you giving back and it, not, not to say like i said i'm nowhere near where i want to be nor do i have everything figured out but this is just what i'm seeing work is once you get there you can be as bougie as you want to but for right now like people almost like the insecurity people almost like the People like being able to relate. So, you know, he reached out to me, said he got $10 in his pocket, but he want a tea. I'm like, well, who am I? And if you want a, a, a Ashima tea, bro, like, what the heck? It's so many dudes I see every day that's not supporting my music. And you sitting here a stranger. So sent it to him. Long story short, uh, he was, like I said, he was on a YouTube. He had, bro, like this video, when I tell you cringe, going back to TikTok, we go, this had nothing to do with TikTok at this time. But, bro, the cringiest YouTube video, right? He posted up. He asked me to support it. I was like, bro, you already know how it be. You don't want to shout everybody's stuff out because you don't want your pain to look like spam. But I'm like, bro, I don't know. He got a special place in my heart till I die because he was one of the first people from out my circle. 
to hit me about some merch, really show me some love, some genuine love, don't know me. He made me feel like the coolest dude in the in the room. So I'm like, bet, bro, whatever. I'm gonna post it up, post it for him. Um, he got a little, I think, I think that little video had picked up some traction, not, not cause of me, but you know what I'm saying? He was doing his thing. He was really consistent with it. It was, like I said, it was cringy, which seems to be the wave right now. And it picked up some steam. I want to say he got like maybe 20K views, 30K views, something like that. I don't remember. Don't quote me, which was like crazy for him at the time. He had jumped from like 3K subscribers to maybe four or 5K. So, you know, he, I, I, and, and he had hit me prior. So I'm like, he showed me love about my music. Let me gas bro right quick. I'm like, bro, I see you. Uh, blah, 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 keep going, bro, that's what's up. He like, yeah, bro, blah, 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 give me the runaround, you know what I'm saying? So I keep seeing him post, I follow him back at this point, too. I'm like, I like that, you know? I'm trying to do something, he's trying to do something. At this point, I'm feeling like, I'm, I'm feeling like he little bro, right? Next thing you know, bro, I'm on Twitter, like, maybe a month later, I see, like, a video with, like, a million views on Twitter. I look at him, like, I'm like, oh, why he look familiar, bro? Pull up the video. It's bro, Bumio, right? And they twins, but I didn't even know he had a twin brother at this time. It was like an e-dating thing that he had did. It was an e-dating thing. So he met some girl online. He met her for the first time. And bro, like I said, he, or bro short. And she was yeah, taller. Yeah. She, was, she like, dang, I kind of expected you to be taller. And he went dead faces. And, and it was that, it was cringy as all get out. But like, that was the one funny moment. So somebody seen it, took that. And it was a rap ever since. He had like, he on his way to 100K subscribers now. Um, with that being on said, YouTube? then I noticed, but on YouTube, excuse me, on YouTube, but Dang, before he crazy, got, he's at that, he's at, he's at that now, not just because of that video, but that video game, he went from maybe like four or five, and like I said, don't quote me, I wasn't pocket watching him like that, but nah, somewhere that's, around, I mean, that's went, huge. Yeah, that he went from maybe four or five K, he went from maybe four or five K to like a quick 10 K. Then I see him post 12 K, you know, everybody throw up the accolades. I'm like, bro, like. I ain't even met him in real life, but he was the first person to support me. So he got a soft, I got a soft spot in my heart for him. So I'm like, bro, that's what's up. Like I said, he was little bro. He started getting up in these subscribers. He hitting me, I'm dropping music. You know, I support him, he support me at this point. It's not even, you don't even gotta ask for the repost. At, at first I kind of was like, bro, I really don't report this, repost this, you know, it don't really got nothing to do with my brand. I don't want people to see it and be like, oh, he's spammy. But I was like, whatever, for whatever, he show love me, I'm show it back. And now every time he posts, I miss all, it's probably on my story just out of love. Fast forward though, he's at like almost 100K now, but going back, he got on TikTok and he posted a TikTok video and I didn't even, I, I had a TikTok account, but I'm not on TikTok actively at this time. Um, he posted it on his IG and was like, yo, I need everybody, if you have a TikTok, go on TikTok, I need y'all like this, share this, blah, 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 the regular run around. He's like, this video is going crazy for me right now. And, and I hit him and I was like, yo, brother, homie's on TikTok, like that's crazy. Like, I was like, it's, it's cool or what? Or like, what's up with it? And he's like, yeah, bro, it's crazy. He, I want to say he got like 30K followers his first three days, bro. I was sick. I was so sick. I was like, I'm on it. Got on it. Like I said, I posted 70 videos before one popped off. So he kind of inspired me to try it. Nothing's hitting for me. I see him going, going, going. Then the crazy part, he has a twin brother, bro, and I didn't know it. So they did a video. It was like a twin telepathy video was the first time I found out they had twins or something. They just being stupid, you know, they twins, so they on the camera. One of them slapped himself, the other one like turned this way. Bro, I thought it was CGI. I'm like, bro, the little the little homie that randomly I met online, like, it's crazy, blah, blah, blah. I hit him, he's like, oh, that's my twin brother. Uh, I was like, oh, I didn't know you had a twin brother. He's like, yeah, 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 he, uh, we finna get him on TikTok too. So I'm like, okay, that's cool, y'all do y'all thing. I'm still trying here and there, BSing it. Maybe a video every two weeks just to try it, getting no views, no nothing, which, I consider to be no views, but realistically, if you have 200 followers on TikTok, you can get 500 views, which might seem minuscule to you because you looking around, you pocket watching, but it's like, bro, you don't have no business with 500 views with 200 followers. If you have 500 followers, you don't have no business with 500 views, messing with Instagram and, and Twitter or whatever else. Exactly. You don't get the full, you don't get the full capacity of your reach. If you do, yep. you got to buy it back. You know what I'm exactly. saying? So it's like, and and I didn't that didn't click for me at first. So I'm looking at them, bro, sick. I'm looking at I'm looking at them sick, like, bro, these kids. And they geniuses, and they don't even know it. Not to discredit them. They are freaking internet geniuses, bro. He's a senior high school right now. He's a little younger than me. So, you know, he in tune. I feel like I'm more in tune than most. I'm 22, so I'm still young, I feel like. But I'm not, like, he, I'm, I feel like I'm the last of the millennial, 1997. But he, like, Generation Z. That, that Generation Z is something serious, bro. Like, and that's yeah. that TikTok wave. But like I said, so his twin brother, his twin brother is probably, I mean, I didn't ask him this specifically. I'm assuming he, you know, he got the juice. His twin brother, 
they did the video together on on Bomeo's, the homie Bomeo's page. So his twin brother, Bor, I'm assuming was like, you know what? Our video went viral together. Let me try it out. Bro, that boy must have got like, I don't even know how many how many followers in such a short amount of time, but more than so, he got up to like 173K. And this is when I knew like the power of TikTok. And once again, not to discredit them because they geniuses, this ain't gonna work for everybody because it didn't work for me the way it worked for them. I thought it would at first, but I found out the hard way it didn't because you genuinely, genuinely have to make good content. But if you do make consistent good content, you will pop eventually. Anyways, like I said, um, so he hopped on, he got up to 173K. The thing you have to keep in mind with TikTok, and, and this touches a lot of bases and, and, and changes a lot of things that you need to think about, is it is a, it is, TikTok is owned by ByteDance, which is a Chinese owned company. So for one, the way they operate is gonna be a lot different from TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, Snapchat, or I said TikTok, I'm tripping. Instagram, YouTube, Snapchat, all these American owned, um, you know, platforms. One thing is them community guidelines, bro, they do not play. TikTok is real strict. And when, we, when I went to the headquarters, one thing they told me, because everybody think it's young. So you think like, oh, they might be strict on the guidelines because it's young. But like, realistically, there's a, there's a big, large demographic of 18 to 24 year olds on TikTok. And they'll tell you that they don't like, they don't, they don't, they don't like you to say that it's a lot of young kids because it's really not. That's just, for whatever reason, uh -huh. that's just the, that's just like the first thought. Nah, they think strict because it's, really it's culture, not, not, not age, yeah. Right, you know what I'm saying? And it's and it's a Chinese, you know, it's ran by the Chinese. They government got a lot of different laws to abide to than us or whatever it is. I don't know if the law, whatever. They got different views. Certain things is okay yeah. over here that, that probably won't fly. But I remember the first time I was tripping about them guidelines was I did, me and the homie, had did a, I did a skit. This is when I was trying to, this was like right after my Uber video had popped. I'm like, bro, we finna, we finna get it in. I'm thinking it's finna be easy. We did a skit, and to this day, I think this might be one of my best skits that never got to see the light of day. I threw it up. It was a robbery skit, and we had fake guns in the video. Oh, yeah, um, but that's we wanted you. We was trying to make it look, you know what I'm saying? We was we playing yeah, a part. Yeah, it was yeah. funny as all get up. Fake guns yeah, in the skit. Yeah. I threw it up, bro. Threw it up. Like, and it, mind you, this is the first, first video I posted after my little 140K Uber video. It's like 10 minutes, no views. I'm like, dang, not a one, bro. I got at least like a thousand followers. I should get at least one, two, three, four, yeah. four. I'm like, what's nah, going man. on, man? Like no views. They strict, bro. And I, I, I heard, I've heard, I can't confirm this. I've heard they have some type of face scan or scan technology. I have no confirmation on this. Nobody at the office told me this, but just me doing my own research. Some type of thing, it scans your videos. It listens to the audio. And, and cause my thing is I didn't put anything about guns in the text. We didn't say the word gun, but we had fake guns, of course, fake guns in our hand for the robbery skit. And it, it didn't even go live. Like it, it showed me that it posted, but it was zero views. And then maybe like 30 minutes later, I got a uh, notification. It was like, oh, your video was against the guidelines, blah, 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 blah. Which another thing, going back to the two twin brothers that I, that I, that I, um, that I deal, that I'm cool with, one of them, I want to say he was on an Instagram live going back to just the strict community guidelines. Be careful with this. Cause there's a, there's two things. There's what they call a shadow ban, which is really, really real, which is really real. Which if you take that shadow ban L, I don't have confirmation, but in my experiences and from what I'm told, it is better to delete your account and start a new mm -hmm. account because that shadow ban thing is real. So I'll, even in your caption, even yesterday. So, and, and I'm, I'm all over the place, but like I said, like, it's just, this TikTok thing is like a whole nother world, bro. Like you have to nah, really- I try to tell people that. It's a whole nother world. Bro, they like, think it's the it's same crazy. as Instagram. I'm gonna blow up it, or I'm gonna treat the influencers the same. Nah, that's completely different. You think it's stupid, or not to say stupid, but you think it's like, you think at first like, okay, I'm finna like me or me, let me speak for myself. When I hop, I'm like, okay, I don't get it. I don't really care. I like Instagram. Everybody I know I got Instagram. Uh, it's cooler to be famous on Instagram, or at least, you know what I'm saying, in the mainstream, it's cooler to be famous on Instagram than TikTok. So I'm more worried about Instagram. Let me try this. But it's like, bro, once you really dive into it, I used to go on TikTok feeling like homework because I wanted to see how I operated. But I'm on TikTok more than Instagram now. Like, and I caught myself, I'm not even really that active on Instagram. I've been, you know what I'm saying, as of recently, I'm trying to get more back active on Instagram. But like TikTok, once you really dive into it, bro, like the variety the just the 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 organicness of it the bro there are so many different pages on tiktok but not to get too off too off topic like i said another big thing that i like anybody that 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 is considering tiktok just them guidelines bro just be careful like i said the shadow ban is real i posted a caption 
it was, I had did some skit, I'm not gonna get too into it, but pretty much I was eating a bag of nuts. It was like a joke. And I was like, hey, bro, can you hold my nuts? Like to the homie, can you hold my nuts? And I was eating some like some almonds and passing the nuts. And in the, in the caption, I was like, man, my homies are fake. I was like, my, all my homies fake, they won't even hold my nuts. Once again, cringe, you know what I'm saying? Kind of draw, kind of like testing that line of like, what's funny, what's too much. But I mean, hey, I'm me, I'm not scared to be who I am. I'm not scared to make jokes, so we did it. And once again, I can always tell because I'll post the video on it and the views just won't add up. And I'll just look at it and I'll kind of think, you know, sometimes, I, sometimes, the, sometimes this is a big thing too. Sometimes you might post something, you might think you're shadow banned or think like, oh, this TikTok algorithm is like not working for me. But like, sometimes you got to sit back and just really think like, maybe your content is not that good. And especially the longer you wait to get on this TikTok train, bro, like, I mean, when I first got on TikTok, a lot of the stuff that was viral, was like the lip singing, real simple stuff. And a lot of that stuff still gets likes. You got your Charlie D'Amelio, which is like the face of everything TikTok right now. But like, bro, like I'm starting to see like CGI on TikTok. I'm seeing dudes with like toy lightsabers, but they glowing and making sounds. I'm like, bro, yeah, three, nah. four months ago, it's gonna get really real in these TikTok streets, bro. Like, yeah, people getting super fancy with those videos. It's crazy, man. Well, yes. Well, well, look, man, let's close this out because we go on for days about TikTok. Right, and yeah, And like, sure. I think some of the big things to get from your experience so far is one, people can leverage your live. I tell people to go live when they when they have a video going viral on the For You page, but really not only that, taking it to that next level of going deep into building community, I think that's a huge part of your story and how that brand identity can really permeate into creating the community and seeing how quickly people are ready to support and become a part of that community. Now, I just want to see you stay consistent with it because it's been a short period of time. Stay consistent. Right, with it's that, been three days. Right, yeah. Yeah. So like I so, said. I mean, those are the two big keys that I think um, everybody can really, really take away. Of course, shadow banning and all that stuff. But I hear people talk about that the other uh, a lot of other places. I mean, I've talked about it. But the, those two things are very unique in your story. And I don't think that many people, especially as small as you are right at the time that really? that shows yeah. how powerful that community can be so i appreciate you hopping on man everybody at not x ashamad i'll put that on the screen so everybody can you know follow go check you out tiktok ig um just ashamad if it's on streaming platforms and all that stuff is there one last thing you want to leave people with uh yeah the, if i'm gonna say one last thing bro is if you do music Get on TikTok, man. Step out your comfort zone. Get this plat. However, you got to get your platform. Get your platform. You know, you got the Tyler Crater. He was known as the dude that ate a roach, and now he's got a number one album. So we're gonna leave it at Easy. that. And then ain't nobody discrediting his music. So Easy. do what you got to do. Set your morals. Draw your line. And 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 you know, sometimes you might not got to come at people with the music right away. You know what I'm saying? Get their attention. Show them you a real person. You don't got to, because I, even I get caught up in trying to make myself look the part, look past that, man. You got to sell yourself as more than as, as good music, because it's good music everywhere. It's good music on SoundCloud right now with, with 20 plays. That's probably more fire than anything I got out. So be real with yourself, be consistent, and, and just realize that maybe what you're doing, if it's not working, is, is, is just not there yet, or it's, it's just not organic, or it's just not real. I mean, to, yeah, if I had to give two cents. Like I said, I'm, I'm nowhere near where I want to be, but that's just my two cents. Bet, bet. Appreciate that, yeah, man. Appreciate your time, though. Yeah, 100, bro. I appreciate you. For sure, for sure, for sure man. Hey, uh, as always, everybody, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you like it, you might as well share it. And if you're not subscribed, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button.